Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifal Engineer at Site YouTube channel. Dear friends, Inshallah today we will learn how to read structural drawing for columns. To the full detail, if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends. So let's start. As I told you when you are going to start studying the structural drawing or short drawing for structural detail you have to first check the general nodes here you can see these are the general nodes and this is the third video so in the first video like for footing and beam is I already uploaded so you can watch that video for beam and footing details in that video I also told you how to study the general nodes. so these are the general nodes. after that here you will learn about the legends which used in the drawing like for the diameter ngl natural ground level bof bottom of footing here you can see the left and this is the pdf file so i think i don't know what's the problem with it but you can study these general notes here it's looking blur in the other two videos here you can see the hook details 4d r65 minimum will be the area of the hook details this is the formula how to find the length of hook this is the l section of the steel bar for the column after that here you will find in this area that this sharp drawing which we will use for which area and what purpose so here you can see the detail cargo transit inspection staff welfare building column layout and detail so now the first thing when after studying the general notes you have to check the layout and layout you will find the full location of the column and also the grid detail here we have three types of columns c1 c2 and this is another column floating column but mostly we are using here two columns c1 and c2 c1 and c2 are di different column with the different dimension and both have different details okay here you can see c1 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 here we are using c2 here you can see the dimension of the c2 is different from the column c1 so this is the layout for the columns guys from here you can check the location of the column and after that like we will study c1 but when you study the layout after the layout you have to go to the schedule in the schedule you, you will get the details about the bar bend this is a bar bending schedule die up steel shape number of bars and all the tie bar which will be used stirrups which will be used here so now the column mark c1 for the c1 number of longitude longitudinal bars will be eight bars width of the column will be 20 centimeter depth will be 45 centimeter and longitudinal bar will be used eight bars and the bars diameter will be 16 here in this section you will study the tie bar not the stirrup sorry the rings which will be used and the beams called stirrups and here this rings is called ties so in this in the start of the column and the end of the column we will use 10 mm dia steel and the center to center distance between two ties will be 12.5 centimeter and the middle we will use the same diameter 10 diameter steel ties but the distance between two ties will be 115 centimeter here you can see the details for the this is a column view eight bars here are the longitudinal bars so eight bars of 16 diameter will be used for the column and number of bar will be eight and two types of stirrups will be used the stirrups steel diameter will be 10 mm and the start area and in the end area the center to center distance between the two stirrups uh, ties will be 12.5 centimeter and in the middle it will be 15 centimeters so here you, here you can see this is one number one tie and this is the second type which we will use in the column so guys here you can see c2 here you we will use no, sorry here the number of column is 5 
width of the column is 20, 60 is the depth of the column, and 8 longitudinal bar will be used, and the diameter of the bar will be 16. Here the same detail as per we studied in the C1 section. Here, number of columns. So C1 columns, we have 8 columns. For C2, we have 5 columns. And FC is fluid. floating column, we have only 1 column. And its dimension is changed. 20 by 20 centimeter. And here we will use poor longitudinal bar of 16 mm diameter. Here we will use 10 mm steel, uh, steel uh, ties and from start till the end. The center to center distance between two ties will be 12.5 centimeter. And here we will use only one kind of stirrups. So, which is this is the kind of the stirrups. After studying the schedule, you have to come here. See column column c1 plane dimension 20 by 45 centimeter 20 centimeter by 20 45 centimeter here longitudinal bars will be 8 bars up 16 mm dia and the 10 mm dia steel bar will be used for the tie so here from here you will know how many tie bar you will use so here you can see 50 this kind of ties you have to prepare for one column 50 tie uh, ring you have to prepare for the one column 50 number diameter will be 10 length will be 1.18 meter and this kind of tie you have to make it also 50 and the diameter of the steel will be 10 and length will be 74 centimeter so here you will find the number of ties which will be used in the all column okay guys and this is the view from here you can see the steel bars longitudinal bars will be added up 16 mm dia and the this is the detail for the tie bars which will be 10 mm and the distance between will be 125 12.5 uh, centimeter okay which will be 50 number of die bars so after that in the some areas in the middle areas the center to center distance will be 15 centimeter but here in the start and the end will be 12.5 centimeter so now i will show you in the column section that where you have to make the distance 12.5 centimeter and where you have to put the ties in the center to center distance 15 centimeters so now let's so guys here you can see this is the column c1 longitudinal bars 16 mm dia at number length will be 3.585 meter and this is the shape of the longitudinal bar so on the you have to prepare the steel at number of steel for one column in this shape after that now let's see this is a grade beam for grade beam you have to check the uh, reinforcement detail the grade beam here in this area you will use two number of ties of 10 mm and gel natural ground level or finish ground level top up grade beam now in this area there will be construction joint what is the meaning of construction joint when you are going to use the, to cause the concrete with the old or you have to join the new concrete with the old concrete so there will be construction joint the bond between the old concrete and new concrete is called construction joints. So now we have to study the structural detail for the column. Here, from this area till this area, you have to use 10 mm dia ties. But the distance between two ties will be 12.5 centimeter. From this area to let's count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from this area to that less area the center to center distance be between two ties will be 12.5 centimeter after that you have to use the same tie same diameter tie bar but the distance will be 15 centimeters so like from here till this area the center to center distance between two tie bar will be 1 15 centimeter here you can see in this area and these are it's showing the column dimension 20 centimeter multiplied by 45 centimeter after this see 
here after that you will go again for the center to center distance which is 12.5 centimeter okay guys so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 13 tie bars you have to use the center to center distance between two ties 12.5 centimeter and after that here you can see top of slave here in this area you have to provide two number of ties which diameter will be 10 and here you can see the roof slab here will be again the construction joint and then you have to go for another column so guys the columns detail is simple from this area you can find the height the height of the column from the top of grade beam till the bottom of the slab is 3.5 meter okay guys so i think there is no more detail these were the detail for the column how to study the uh, structural detail or shop drawing for a column so if you have any question regarding this video you can ask in the comment section and if you have any question or anything about all civil engineering life in saudi arabia about visa quality engineering documentation so you can contact me through my social networks like linkedin instagram and facebook links are available in the video description and also in the about section of the channel please like the video share it with your friend and subscribe our youtube channel for more such a informative video thank you so much for watching